game week for the defense? What's what's kind of the focus been uh, this week? Again, trying to do, you know get the new system down. Uh, you know, because Grand Gordon got a, a lot of good stuff that can affect the quarterback, and you know, we just got to execute it. So we, you know, taking a lot of reps trying to, to get the new things that were being installed. In. How does the role of the safeties as a whole change with in his defense versus the last one? They're very involved. Uh, you know, this is going to be a big game for Kane and Andy. Uh, you know, Alabama does a great job of stressing you on the perimeter, and they're going to see can out safe to make plays. Did you, you all, to approach and talk about the competition? Did you feel like everybody got better because of the competition at the positions in the secondary? You know, I think that's you know the biggest key to having a successful program. Uh, you know, that's probably why Alabama where the other day because the competition. Uh, you know, the not just the guys that are potential starter, the other guys are, are making them better because they keep pushing them, you know, trying to get that job. And, you know, guys knew here that uh, we didn't have any starters going into fall camp. And uh, so I think it, it made us better. Does it matter or how much does it matter who starts at quarterback for them, for your guys? How do you prepare for both guys? Well, you know, again, uh, we've seen enough of uh, Troy, who's at, you know, whether he starts or being the backup. You know, both great players. You know, uh, you know, Jalen is he's a big time runner at the quarterback spot. They got a lot of design run for him and you know Tua can throw the ball very, very well. So, you know, we'll see them both. Uh, we have to prepare for them both and you know, but the game plan didn't change a lot because they both are athletic and they can run the ball and we just understand that Jalen probably gonna run a lot more. Does it does this game bring anything back for you playing being from Alabama? Not at all. You know, Alabama's my old model, always will be. Yeah, but I'm blessed to be paid by Louisville, and that's what my heart is. <laughs> How confident are you in your guys to be able to go down there and get this one? Well, again, that's, you, if you don't think you're going to win, you're not going to win. And uh, you have to believe it in your hearts. And you know, we're 100% confident. We'll have opportunity to, to go out and play the team that's carrying the belt. And uh, any time you get that opportunity, it should make you, you know, step your game up. You D, get, D getting elected as captain. How big has he been for you guys this camp? You know, D is a he's a great leader. He's a great young man. He's always smiling, and uh, you know, it's, it was good to see that his players rewarded him and you know voted him to be captain. And he's done a great job of leading. You know better than most what what's made Alabama so successful in recent years. You know, Coach Saban does a great job. You know, he does a great job of recruiting. You know, he's a big disciplinary, and you know, he, he has his way of uh, preparing his players, and obviously he's done a great job of that. You know, I think he's won five, six national champions. So, you know, you know he's, a, he's a great football coach, and you know, the guys buy it in. Will you talk to um, the guys at all about that Fiesta Bowl game that you played in? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the, uh, the memory that I do have of uh, playing at Alabama. Yeah. You know, we lost to Louisville uh, my senior year in, in the Fiesta Bowl, and so I'll, I'll never ever forget that. But, you know, that game is not going to have any bearing on this one. That's a different <laughs> Alabama team, and, of course, it's – Different Louisville team. You kind of talking about the quarterbacks. How do you guys? How do you guys preparing to stop the ground game? Hey, we got to get level hands to the ball. You know, we it's just not one guy. You know, we got to make sure we we play technique and uh, fundamentally sound and based on the, the the call that we have. But we still got to get a lot of hats to the ball because they got big, powerful running backs and uh, you know they got great speed at receivers and the offensive line is probably one of the best in the country, if not the best. All right. Thanks, Coach.